Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video I think is gonna be a bit of a hodgepodge of things. I've got about a week off and I'm just gonna be doing bits and bobs and I think I'm just gonna bring my camera with me and see what I pick up. So it could be quite random, but you know, that's what sort of vlogs are good at being, I think sometimes. So yeah, today it's gonna be quite weird. It's a really nice day actually, really lovely blue skies. I'm going to play mini golf with my mum and my brother, which is going to be hilarious. So I'll bring you along to that. I've got a few errands to do. I need to drop off a ton of stuff at, at charity shop um, and the recycling because in the previous vlog, you would have seen that I did a big clear out and I organised so many things. I've got seven bags of like furniture bits and clothes and just all sorts. So I'm going to do that and that will really help and that will allow me to see kind of what we're actually packing. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I've got like, a few things on, seeing a friend for dinner on Friday. And then next week is Valentine's Day, which would be cute. So I think we're just, I'm not a big Valentine's Day person, but I like getting those sort of like dine-in M&S meals. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it's just going to be a bit of a random one. So I hope you enjoy. Um, and yeah, I'll see what I get up to. <laughs> Sorry, look how cute this Defender is. This is all I'm going to be able to afford after the move. <laughs> how cute! I don't know, they might be quite expensive. Here we are. You get to get one for um, James and Anna. Yeah, that would be cute. cute. Mum, are you going to sit down there on the... On the uh... wet, oh, it's a bit wet, is it? Oh, uh, okay. On the, on the hippo. On the hippo. Here we go. And the ducks have come to say hello to us. I'll get... I'll, I'll go down there in a minute. Come on, look at this. Love this. God, that a hippo is it's actually quite scary. There's a baby hippo here. Okay, Charlie. Oh. Okay, Charlie. Go for it. Here we go. Oh. Oh, he's going through. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so cute. Hey. Oh, where have you gone? <gasps> you guys! My goodness! Katie's shooting. Wow! Good job. Well done. Bumps, eh? Yeah. Can you beat Mum? <laughs> there we go. I don't think so in this one. Yeah. Very good. Off it goes. Oh yeah! No, don't. Oh! 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 Mine goes furthest! Well done. Is it me right. next? Here we go. <laughs> Charlie and I are very close. That is, that's the, that's where you got to go. Okay then, Mum. Oh! Sorry. Oh! They've come to see us! Hey! Nice. Yay! Oh God. It's like little Carlos. Oh, here we go. What have we got then? A straight shot right underneath. Okay, let's go. Oh! No way. Which one's that? I got one. Yay! Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh yeah! <laughs> nice! 40, 44, 40. Oh no, you've won, I reckon. 51, 57, 57. 61. Oh, we're only three apart. Nice. Uh, 
So we've got mum in, in third place with 72, me in second place, 61, and Charlie, 58, you got the winner! Woo -hoo! I think that's pretty over par. <laughs> All, <of that. laughs> All done? Yay! It was so fun! Loved it! everyone i hope you enjoyed the little montage of mini golf and cleaning my car because it's super interesting i did not think i'd have this much fun playing mini golf i genuinely had the best time and i wish i discovered it before because it's it's a seven minute drive from the house anyway it's always these things isn't it you discover things you don't know about your house or your area the week before you move house um anyway i'm just applying a face mask this is the Kiehl's Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask and um, it is really creamy and nice as you'd imagine from Avocado but my skin is so dry at the moment and I have like naturally oily skin so that's saying something it was like minus two last night so I think being outside paired with having the heating on inside probably isn't the best thing but yeah and I've got some eye patches on these are like some vitamin C ones because I did not sleep very well last night and then I've got this on. I don't think I'm wearing this right, but it's basically a less abrasive version of a towel when you dry your hair. But yeah, the skin is going a little bit loco at the moment, but it is what it is. But I really like this. Kind of makes me look a little Shrek-like, but that's okay. Anyway, today I was supposed to go to see the snowdrops at a really pretty house um, in Surrey, but the Rona has caught caught up not with me but um with my fam so we're not gonna go this is a shame but it's all right lots of other seasons um to look forward to and um yeah so i think i'm just gonna relax a little bit today and get some more a bit of cleaning and some more packing which probably won't film because i've done that quite a lot in <laughs> videos and then hopefully she'll be going to dinner this evening which would be really nice and then yeah this weekend i mean it's a week until we move a week today which is super exciting so i need to make sure that everything is in line um, make sure all my admin is done make sure i've got kind of got a list of everything that i need to do before i move in terms of changing details so make sure everything that i can do now is done and yeah it's a really beautiful day might go for a walk we'll see and yeah just take care of my skin a little bit and give it some love as it's really suffering right now but it is what it is and um yeah so i'll see you later yeah. okay it is now ten past six thank you very much no. um and we're off to dinner i'm just gonna wear something really basic it's like a little pub which is cute so just some leggings and a black sort of like ripped top it's got a quite cute little detail on there and for once Annie and I aren't wearing the same thing <laughs> so yes we're gonna go and get some food I'm absolutely starving only had a hot cross bun for lunch so um let's go <laughs>
good morning everyone so today is monday i hope you all had a good weekend it is also valentine's day um i'm not a big valentine's day person um to be honest i love a cute card and a cute meal but this year is a bit different because we're so busy um so much going on this week so we've kind of both agreed to just kind of take it easy um we've got one of those dining for 20 <laughs> um m and meals which i'm actually so excited about as i love them and i'm actually seeing my mum and my friend today as i've got two days left of not working between um one job and the other so we're gonna go mum is gonna go and get her like valentine's day dinner box from a local farm shop and i'm gonna go with her and have a coffee hopefully and then i'm gonna go for a walk it's kind of was really nice and sunny this morning but it looks like it's gonna rain so we shall see and um yeah more sorting out we had the most crazy busy weekend packing uh so much is done which is great the last two big things we need to do is kitchen and garage the garage is all kind of in bags we just need to put stuff in boxes so it's easier to carry but yeah apart from that um i think my mum should be here any minute now and <sighs> yeah it's a busy week it's crazy to think that i've had the last my last weekend in this house it's just it's just so real i'm getting so excited and so giddy um i just need to work out the plan for friday and who does what so yeah i'm so excited anyway um i'm going to just finish getting ready get my coat and um i've got this little guy here we're keeping him in at the moment just for a few days at a time <laughs> he looks so grumpy look at his little old man arm um because he's gonna have to get used to staying in for about over a week maybe even two because we're moving to a completely new area completely new house he's grown up in this house um hasn't been anywhere else but you know where we live now so um yeah i'm quite nervous but it's gonna be fine he's been okay um the, the longest we kept him in was three days um and then at the moment we're just shortening the time between us keeping him in um so he kind of knows that it's okay to be inside and he's got so much better um which is great so yeah never moved with a pet before <laughs> If anyone's got any tips, let me know because I'm gonna need them. So yeah, I'm gonna go get ready um, and hopefully have a nice day. Oh, that's my mum. She's just up the middle. shop with mum we had a cute little 
lunch um, outside and it was absolutely freezing. <laughs> I'm so cold, even though I've got the jumper on. But um, this, like I think I said at the beginning of this vlog, it's going to be a really weird hodgepodge vlog, like lots of random stuff. So I thought I would carry on um, with that. And where last week when I went to the charity shop, I went to drop off um, some bits and bobs and I went in and I found some really cool things and I looked at their record collection and I got some things and it only cost me £17 for one, two, three, seven records some larger than the others in terms of how many songs they have on but I got a really big mix so I thought I would just show you um Andy got me a vinyl player two years ago maybe and I love it so much uh, it's all packed now but um I'm just gonna show you what I got I think I already have this one but because I've packed everything I can't remember so I have Frank Sinatra I mean look at some of these songs they are just so classic a lot of these were like two pounds one pound and then one pounds one pound and some of the ones that are better quality um were five so this one was two um it's such a beautiful record look at that. those blue lovely blue eyes um put that in a carlos and then i love this george benson i grew up listening to his music i love him so much this is such a great um record look how cute he is and um yeah in your eyes is just such a stunning song he is one of my favorite artists and then oh i love the nutcracker it reminds me of christmas but i'll listen to it all throughout the year um this is the entire um tchaikovsky uh sort of record and it is just absolutely stunning and i think i cannot wait to listen to this at christmas time like put it on in the background and like maybe write some christmas cards it would be so special and then this, this one was a pound this is the beach boys greatest hits i thought this was a really cool looking effect um what have we got here we've got california girls barbara ann oh focus I get around, darling, do it again, help me Rhonda. There's some really, really good records on here. So that will be fun in the summer. And then this is Simply Red. And I think this may be his first record. Oh yeah, it says debut LP. Um, and I, read, I, I watched a little documentary on how he kind of came to fame and it's so interesting. Um, I really want to get the, I can't remember what the album's called, but it's, I remember it's Red shock simply red but my um, i've my parents have it on cd and we always play it and i just love it so much i thought this would be really good um yeah holding back the years is one of his most famous tracks so very excited for this and then <laughs> very different this was 50p it's so cute um it is the beer chicks potter stories i'm gonna see if i can get the other ones because this says one i think there are three so Peter Rabbit, Flopsy Bunny, Benjamin Bunny and Tiggy Winkle. So the other ones probably um, the other stories. And I thought this was just so sweet and I definitely want to keep this for like future kids. I think it would be really adorable. And you know, part this has probably passed down so many, had so many lives and you know, so many people have played it and I just love the thought of that. And then this is a record that I've wanted for so long. This was more expensive because the quality is so good. My mum and dad even said it could be theirs because they donated it to the same um, charity shop. But of course, I mean, this record is just iconic. It's absolutely stunning. I'm a huge Whitney fan. Um, and I genuinely don't think I own any of her records. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is just it's just one of those albums that you look at it and it's just so well known I love the peachy colours and she's just absolutely oh she's a vision so yeah those are the um records that I got and I think I've got a really good mix I've got some classical music I've got a lot of like Motown vibes I've got some you know some really good records in here so yeah very exciting it wasn't Frank Sinatra I had two of <laughs> It was George Benson and this is an older one um, that I got and it's in like a case and this one was five pounds so if you want records two pounds for sure if you guys like George Benson and you have a record player I will let's just give this to someone so message me comment if you want and I will send this to you because of course I do not need to um, yeah uh, otherwise it will you know go back into the charity shop which is annoying but I 
yeah, I could have sworn one of them I definitely bought before. And that just shows how much <laughs> I really like George Benson, so I'm an idiot. But well, it was only £2, so I'm not too bothered. I thought I would just kind of round off the video by doing a, like, favourites, not favourites, like an empties haul. And I used to watch, I'm going to take these off because the reflection is so bad. Um, I used to watch so many of these videos on YouTube. And it really reminds me of, like, 2010 to 2015 type of beauty YouTube where everyone did like monthly favourites and like what they would use up and I think seeing what people fully finish and use up is a really good indication as to what's good what's not good so I have one two three four five six seven eight products that I have kind of like saved from the past month that I finished some I've actually just finished today so I'll start with this one. This is a moisturiser from Declayor which is really nice it is a it's the like most satisfying like shape I can't describe it and it is a I think it's non-perfumed or maybe it's a little bit um it's just a normal body milk really good so good in the summer when you've been out of the sun big fan love this I would actually buy this again um I've had like 70 bajillion thousand of these <laughs> um and actually I think I'm gonna give it a break so this is the um Batiste dry shampoo and it has like brown color in it so don't buy this if you're blonde or got red hair or anything um but I found a new one from Bumble and Bumble and it's less talky it smells less chemically and I think it just does a better job so don't think I'll give that one a pass um I've mentioned these quite a few times it's these wild inserts which is deodorant so um this one is mint and eucalyptus and i think this is a unisex one and absolutely love it i've, I've finished it and i'm about to i think i'm about to run out completely of all the ones that i did um that i ordered and they brought back peach bellini which is my favorite scent it's really creamy it smells so good and so i need to order that before they run out and it's limited edition but i wish it wasn't what's next oh yeah this is nearly finished and um, you can kind of see from the side this is the glow recipe moisturizer and i remember when i bought this i got a whole set i got the um i got the toner as well and a few other bits so i like this actually and i find that makeup goes over it quite well i've had to like completely take off an entire face of skincare when i like went to go put foundation on and it just like beads you know what i mean like it kind of like comes off so this is really good it's really light so nice in the summer um it is more like a sort of jelly consistency rather than like a cream uh but i would 100 percent buy this again and it's also in in glass so you know you can recycle it yeah so this from Glow Recipe, 100% would buy again. One thing that I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy again. So I went through a huge phase of only buying Korean skincare, and I'm not gonna lie, Korean skincare is really good. Like I'm obsessed with, um, it's called yesstyle.co.uk. Get all my um, bits from like Korean beauty over there. This is a rice toner um, called I, uh, From I'm From and it's really soothing and i think if your skin is like breaking or it's hurting and it's you know dry and a bit um you know like you've had bad acne one month or you know it's really soothing on the skin it really looks like it's like rice milk um and i know that rice has incredible properties for skincare and you know i feel like korean skincare is just incredible and they get it right so and there's also really minimal ingredients in this so it's all, this is also glass so you know can recycle it and i have a few toners left so i've got the i've got the matching one for glow recipe i have the paula's choice one which is really popular um and i think that's it but yeah i i would think about this one i think oh sorry for the yellowness it's getting dark outside um one thing that it's kind of <laughs> it's dripping that just reminded me of korean beauty uh this isn't this is when the shower <laughs> i've nearly finished it you can kind of see it's um all squidged out but this is the salicylic salicylic acid daily cleanser from cosrx and i had the cosrx like black head toner which 
was okay, it wasn't great, um, but this is good. Like I would absolutely buy this again. Uh, again, Korean Beauty, and um, I think you can get it on Cult Beauty and a lot of like UK-based um, beauty sites. So, a hundred percent, this is so good if you have like problematic breakout acne skin. You know, I really suffer from that, and it's fantastic. Um, yeah, love it have nothing to buy it's not good for really really sensitive skin so if you have any like breaks in your skin you're going to feel it it's kind of a bit like putting hand sanitizer when you've got a cut in your hand um but this is good another korean beauty find actually is it korean beauty i think it is oh yeah it is like it's got korean in the back <laughs> is the lineage you've probably seen this everywhere it's basically finished i love this so much i got this when there was only one um scent this is the berry one and i really want to try some of the others but it is so good and sometimes i just wear it throughout the day but they recommend it as like a mask when you go to sleep and you just like pile it on in the morning your lips are just like oh, so good but this takes forever to get through it is a hundred percent worth the money it's great value um yeah it's really tiny and i'm gonna buy another one of these huge fan two more products so this is really good the only thing i'm not a massive fan of about this is just that i think there's quite a bit of perfume in this but because it's a cleanser you're kind of washing it away you're not keeping it on your skin so i'm not as fussed the same goes for like essential oils so you shouldn't really put essential oils like leave them on your face um so this is the emma hardy amazing face cleansing balm it is i'm pretty sure completely yeah that is completely empty it smells like a genuine spa like this is one of the reasons i love this actually my second product smells like my last product sorry smells like a spa too they go really well together and i bought i think it was at christmas they did a deal where it was double the size so this is 100 grams yeah 100 grams and i got the 200 grams one it's like stacked and it's amazing so you've got a full face of makeup on you grab a scoop it's got a little spoon in it so it's nice and hygienic rub it in and it genuinely just melts off everything and i'm not going to recommend it you rubbing it in your actual eyes but when you kind of rub off your mascara doesn't sting doesn't hurt it's just really gentle um and i love it it's so nice i've probably never bought this full price i've always found like a, a deal um, I know that on the websites and like look fantastic and things you can get trial versions of this and it always comes with a cute little pad um, and like a maybe like a, an oil or a serum and if you want to try it out because it is kind of spenny but this lasts so long and I think especially because I've not been going out because of the pandemic I probably would have finished this a lot earlier but yo this is seriously good and I have oily skin as well so for like a melty sort of balmy cleanser normally that shouldn't work but it does it's good last thing okay i promise is this seriously i love this so much i haven't bought another one yet because like they're quite expensive and i'm just trying like trying to save a little bit of money at the moment whilst we're moving but once i'm all settled i'm 100 like gonna try find one of these i did find a bigger one um i got something in my lip um i did find a bigger one on feel unique and that was just cheaper because they had a bigger one if that makes sense you know when you sometimes find like 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 this um like this one i found the larger one and it was cheaper per 100 grams sort of thing anyway this is the sarah chapman skinesis i think it's skinesis overnight facial looks like this a lot of her products look exactly the same so just be careful you like getting the right one it is an oil and it smells like a spa i think i've genuinely got none left yeah there's none left it smells like a spa it is so luxurious like put it on your face last thing at night and it really is like I, i've never it really is an overnight facial you wake up and your skin is so glowy and nice and i find that if i'm having a really bad skin day and or even a week, a skin week or a skin month, and I'm really like breaking out. This genuinely helps, absolutely love it. I think my top products would be the Sarah Chapman Skinesis Overnight Facial, 
the Emma Hardy um, cleansing balm and ooh, probably the COSRX cleanser. So these are probably my top three. Um, and we'll, oh, I bought this one already. I'm gonna buy this one again and eventually this one. So yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd do a little um, section of the vlog because I think I've done one of them before and I used to do these things all the time when I had my blog, Geo the Leo, if anyone remembers that, good times. Uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna sign off. Um, it's getting dark and in a few hours we're gonna have our cute little Valentine's meal and yeah i think the next time i'll be picking up my camera to vlog is when we're moving ah, so exciting so yeah thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to press the thumbs up button below and subscribe if you haven't already uh so you can see what else is coming up it's gonna be a really fun busy next few weeks um starting a new job on Wednesday, moving on Friday, it's just all happening. So yeah, I will see you in the next video.